Uh, my name is John Thomas. I'm the owner, co-owner of El Pinto Restaurant. My brother and I, Jim Thomas. My folks opened the restaurant in 1962 and my brother and I took it over in 1989. We took the business from a 200 seat restaurant to now it seats over a thousand. All these recipes are from my grandma, Josephine Chavez. They're all generated from our family history and uh, we, we're one of the oldest New Mexican food restaurants in the world. Uh, the reason it's called New Mexican Food is when my aunt coined the name, she said, this is not Mexican food, this is New Mexican food, and this is food that's recipes that are indigenous to this state. Name derived from my mom and dad were out here when my folks bought the property back in, in 19, early 1960s, before they opened the restaurant, and it was a beautiful summer night, and he's looking up in the stars, he says, you know what, this is the spot. And my mom's first language was Spanish, and he says, how would you say that in Spanish? And he, she said, well, you say it like El Pinto, the place. And which, you know, people get confused. They think the spot means the bean. No, it means the spotted bean or it means the spotted horse. So that's where the name is derived. It's the spot. It's the spot to eat, the, plus, the spot to be. Prime dishes are, are dishes that we serve the most. And the ones that we really specialize on is, are, is their chilies and those are all growing down in Hatch, New Mexico. And it's, we use a, 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 a green chili, which is a, with seed that is a mild or hot. And then the red chili is a sun-dried red chili that we use. And the chilies are, have a unique flavor to them. Most of our ingredients are farm to table, from our chilies out of Hatch, from the chicken coop here, that we have 200 chickens back here, we get fresh eggs, to our our beef is, is a local beef. Um, our park is a local park. So if freshness is important, quality is important, and people want to have good, clean food. Well, having good relationships with our purveyors is important because that reflects to the customer. And to have that, build that loyalty to the customer, it takes people like our associates that we work with, like Ben and Keith, to be behind us and we've been fortunate to build a local uh, customer base that has been a stand behind us for over 55 years. Mm -hmm.